Okay folks, the sun just set about 30 minutes ago. It's been blowing hard all day, 30 miles an hour wind, actually for the last two days. And what we have left though is a beautiful sky, no wind finally. Look at that. All the way across the horizon. Very interesting sky tonight. Well, that was an interesting sky, wasn't it? Okay, tonight I'm making an unusual soup. I'm making roasted pumpkin soup with crab garnish. And then I'm going to serve it in the pumpkin itself. Let's take a close look. Okay, I have a lot of nice produce here. I have a locally grown fireball pumpkin. It's going to be very delicious. An air of locally grown corn. A head of garlic. I'm not going to use all that, of course. I have some chopped ginger, chopped fresh ginger. I have an Amish candy onion here. It's nice and sweet. I have my crab. This is Edwards steamed crab from only Virginia. So it's nice, local, sustainable. And you can use the crab in a tin, but it has a different flavor to it. It's pasteurized and then it's canned in the same tin. And usually that comes from Vietnam or someplace out, out, out there. I have salt and pepper, of course, and I have a quart of chicken stock. This is going to be enough for two servings. First thing I'm going to do is prep the pumpkin. Okay, I just washed the pumpkin. did have some dirt on the outside. And it's always important to wash it because as you cut into it, you could force contaminants into the inside of it. Okay, this is going to be the receptacle. The bottom half is the receptacle for the soup. You can see it's kind of shaky. So I just want to flatten out the base a bit. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to insert the knife and just rotate the pumpkin and cut as I go. Voila! So now what I'm going to do is take out the seeds. If you want to get creative, you can do something with the seeds, like roast them with garlic and oil. But I'm just going to put these in the compost pile. Have my oven warming up at 425 degrees. This is going to become caramelized and golden and brown and really flavorful. Although it's going to take about an hour and a half. I'm going to put a little spray oil on that and then put that in the oven. This is the top half. I'm going to do the same thing. Oh. 
Okay, the top is going to be used for the meat. Leaving the skin on for now, it'll be easier to take the skin off after it's roasted and cooled. And this way you get actually more meat off the pumpkin. I'm going to drizzle a little vegetable oil over the pumpkin and this will help roast it. So that's ready to go in and I have a beautiful bowl here. This is going to be a good one. Okay, I'm going to put that in the oven now. Both of them in the oven and it's going to take about an hour and a half for the for the bottom half, the top will cook quickly or quicker because it's cut up. Okay, these pumpkin pieces have been roasting for an hour and 20 minutes. And you see they have a nice brown color to it, nicely caramelized. And how I know they're ready is because when I put the fork in it, there's little to no resistance. So these are quite hot. I'm going to let those cool down for a while. And I'm going to be sautéing my onions. That is a Amish candy onion. It's a sweet variety. Ginger and two pieces of garlic. Now, it would have been a lot easier to cut the pumpkin up into small pieces and boil it. And this way, boil it with water, of course. And then this way I would have had a pumpkin stock. But you get much more flavor when you roast something because it caramelizes the sugars and it brings out a lot more flavor. So it's more work, but in the long run, it's worth it. Okay, I'm going to start sauteing off these vegetables. Let this cool down. The, the pumpkin bottom is still in the oven. I'm going to give it a few more minutes. Okay, so I have a non-stick pan here. A little vegetable oil. My onion, that was a whole small onion, little sea salt, draw out the moisture, water, now I'm going to cook these down pretty good amount. I'm going to caramelize them like I did the pumpkin and this will bring out the full flavor of the onion. It's sort of like when you're making French onion soup you caramelize the onions so they're, they're very very brown and this adds an abundance of flavor. And then I'll add the ginger and the garlic towards the end because I, I don't want that to burn. Okay, this is going to take a good uh, six to eight minutes. Okay, that was actually only five minutes and you can see the onions are nice and brown, nice and caramelized. I'm going to add my fresh ginger.
going to add two pieces of garlic and these I just smashed down. All this is going to get grinded up at the end so the, the size is not really that important. And if the garlic was too small it could possibly burn. I'm going to add just a little bit more oil to that mix. Fresh ground pepper. I have some turmeric here, turmeric dried powder. I wish I had fresh turmeric, but this is the Eastern Shore of Virginia. An item like that is very hard to get around here. So that's the next best thing. And I'm going to put that in now so that it, it starts to roast. And that'll bring out the full flavor. It also adds a nice natural color to any any recipe. That so looks like it's ready to eat right now. Okay, so the pumpkin has cooled down enough to handle. So I'm basically just going to pull the skin off of them. Smells so good already. Okay, you get the idea. I'm going to finish these off. I definitely made more than I need for this soup, but I didn't want to throw out the remainder of pumpkin so I can use it for something later on. Okay. Okay, so I have my food processor here. That was six pieces. Now I'm putting my onion garlic mix in there. Everything is roasted. Okay, I have a quart. 
chicken stock, homemade. Not going to add all of it at once because I don't want this, want this to be too watery. Okay. Now I want to puree this. Don't want to make it liquid. That actually looks like a very good consistency right there. Okay. Now I'm going to reheat it a bit, bring it back up to temperature. It, it has cooled down sufficiently because the broth was room temperature. So I'm going to bring it back up to a good temperature for soup. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is add my roasted corn to the soup. You can see this has a lot of color to it. We're definitely roasting tonight. Roasting is the theme. The flavor of roasting. It's my soup. It's a very nice consistency. It's not too thick, not too thin. Get ready to serve it. Okay, so this is the bottom half of the pumpkin, if you remember. That actually took an hour and 45 minutes to cook. But as you can see, it's nicely caramelized. So I'm going to take my pumpkin soup. I have a, actually this is an English muffin cutout. Place that right on top. I have some crab that was heated up. A little parsley garnish. I'm going to take some fresh nutmeg and just go around into the soup. Nutmeg and pumpkin go really well. And the last thing I'm going to do is take a little coconut milk and drizzle that around. So here we have a very refined meal and a very unusual presentation. But does it taste good? Get rid of that silly garnish. Popcorn soup is very good.
It's not overly sweet at all. It has a natural sweetness to it. It only gets sweet if you add a ton of refined sugars, like in a pumpkin pie. The bread cutout works wonderful because it soaks up the soup. I can taste just how lovely all these roasted elements are. The roasted corn, the roasted pumpkin, And of course the crab itself is very good. It's just supposed to be crab garnish, it's not a crab soup. Okay folks, this is my meal for the evening. I'm gonna finish it off. If you like my show, you like me, my cooking style, whatever it is, well then throw me a bone, please. Throw me a frickin' bone here!